Okay, hi YouTubers. Um, here I am again. It's actually daylight this time, and nobody's home, and I can actually speak up for once in my life. Right now I'm in my living room. Uh, not in my room, but um, anyway. So it's officially been about two weeks since Murad since I guess the start of it. Um, some nights when I was tired I wouldn't do it but I would do it during the day so the past two weeks I have done it every day just maybe not twice a day so it counts for something at least. Um, I think there might have been just one day that I missed. Actually no that's wrong. I missed one day of my uh, oral medication which was the spironolactone so I'm doing really good. I kept that up and I still have quite a bit of pills left. Actually, it hasn't even been a month I've been taking that. So I'm trying not to get my hopes down because, like, I'm seeing results, but then I'm not seeing results. It's like every day I wake up different. Like, I wake up like, oh, my skin looks nice, and then half the day goes by. I'm like, oh, my gosh, my skin looks horrible. Like, what was I thinking? Anyway, I have been doing the Murad for about two weeks now. I think it's been like 16 days, so a little over two weeks. Um, on here, my skin looks actually fairly decent, but that's because it's a webcam. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can really see that well. Like, I still have so much discoloration. Like, can you see that? and that's the part that gets me the most irritated so I went on YouTube I'm always following other people that go on YouTube um, and I hate to try products that say they're gonna lighten your skin they really don't plus I'm scared it's gonna cause some adverse discoloring effect because that happened one time I used Ambi or is that what's called Ambi I think or something like that and it's for like colored girls or whatever and um I put the whole lightning cream on the spot instead of just doing like little dots and that turned that whole spot lighter and actually you can still kind of see it to this day like it kind of it kind of went away but like sometimes when I'm putting on my makeup I'm like what the heck is that but anyway so ever since then like I don't mess with that crap. So, I found a natural remedy supposedly is supposed to help. It's lemon juice and sugar. You're just supposed to squeeze lemon juice in a cup, uh, get a cotton ball, put put it in the lemon juice, then pour sugar on the cotton ball and exfoliate. And the acid in the lemon juice, which has helped me in the past, does actually lighten um, your scars. Also, another thing that helped me was getting plain yogurt. Because it's also like a lactic acid, which also lightens your scars. So if you did plain yogurt with the lemon juice and then I added tea tree oil, which helped with acne, I actually did have clear skin for a while just using that as my cleanser. I didn't use anything else but the yogurt and the lemon juice and the tea tree oil, and that helped me. I don't know why I stopped. I guess it just got annoying having to buy yogurt, put it in the refrigerator, then every time you have to wash your face, you got to take it out of the refrigerator, bring it upstairs, and then like half the time I would leave it in the bathroom and it would go bad because it's yogurt, it has to be refrigerated. I'll be like, so it just got to a point where I was like, you know what, <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. Plus I, I kind of got cocky like, oh, I have clear skin now, so I don't need this. Yeah, bad idea. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you the Murad that I ordered. This is the little cleanser that they send you. It's a, like a trial run package deal. I think, um maybe in a month maybe or a couple I don't know when they're supposed to send me like the full size one or something but this is just like to start you off to see if you like it that's number one and it uh, has salicylic acid in it 1.5 percent and this is supposed to be a bacteria killer as soon as it hit your, hits your face supposed to like kill all the bacteria on your skin I do like it because it's a foam and it doesn't have those little gritty things in there that are supposed to exfoliate your skin because that just irritates my skin. I like that it, it it's a nice thick foam. Like it's kind of hard to squeeze out of the bottle. It's, it's a nice thick cleanser and it just foams up and it's like really soft on your skin too. It's weird to describe but it's like soft soap. <laughs> 
Um, anyway, uh, number, so this is step one. I'm sure you guys already know. This is step two, the exfoliator acne treatment gel. This, you, so you wait for your face to dry, then you put this on, wait for this to dry. And it has a really, really, really weird smell. Like, it's, it's weird. Like, it doesn't smell like, I don't even know how to describe it. But then, this has nothing in it. Like, no kind of acne fighting anything. It's just lotion, pretty much. Like, they're like, okay, we went ham on this. Let's just have something gentle on their skin. So this is the Skin Perfecting Lotion. And I do like using this before I put my makeup on because it's really smooth and soft. And I feel like it kind of gives you an evenness so you can put your makeup on even. Um, also... I'm just going to pretend like this is the mask, too. Then you get a mask, a clarifying mask, and that has sulfur in it, which kills acne. And um, I've been using that, like, once or twice a week. And I actually do put it on. I, I use it sometimes before I go to work because I know I get really hot when I work because it's a fast, fast-paced thing. So I'll use that, and it actually really helps control oil. It smells horrible, though. But, um... I use that sometimes before I go to work just to control oil because it really kind of just like kind of clings your skin so you can't really sweat that much. Um, so yep, just these three products plus the phony mask. I'm just going to pretend that it is. I didn't feel like going upstairs to get it. But anyway, so I've been using that. And if you look at my first video to now, which I just, um, I saw the picture, like the front picture for the video, like... If you look at that to now, my skin has really improved. I'm the kind of person where I want to see results the next morning. I guess because I've been going through this for about uh, five years, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm fed up. I, I have reason to be fed up. So, I mean, for people who are just now starting with their acne, don't get too excited, especially if you have PCOS like I do. Um... Tomorrow, today is the 14th. Tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment with my gynecologist, and I'm going to talk to her about um, the spironolactin and the fact that my other my other doctor told me that she wanted me to start birth control, and I'm not I'm not doing it. I can't. Birth control messes you up. It makes you feel like a ghost like you're just not there when I was taking birth control I literally had no emotion I had no thought I I was just like a robot it was like just blank all the time my mind was just blank all the time and I remember writing that in my journal I was like I don't know what's wrong with me but I have like no emotion anymore I I don't care about anything nothing gets to me it was just like every day I woke up like well I'm alive who cares it was it was horrible. <clears throat> so I don't want to take that. I know she's probably going to try to encourage me to only because I have PCOS and you're supposed to take birth control and something else to um, level out your hormones. But And honestly, taking birth control and spironolactin will help your acne go away faster. Plus, yet, I don't want to have no acne and have no personality either. So, plus, feeling the way I did, it's just not even worth it. It's really not. I thought it was, and I kept taking the birth control, and then I was like, you know what, my health is more important than my face, unfortunately, but it's the truth. So, I'll tell you guys how that goes tomorrow. I'm scared, because if she tries to pressure me into taking that crap, I'm just going to be straight up. Like, I don't know what to do, but um, I'll keep updating for the Murad and the Spironolactin. Um... I have noticed, though, that my makeup goes on smoother now. Um, my face doesn't get as oily. So, I mean, it is helping. The medicine is helping. And the mirror, I believe, is helping, too. Also, sometimes after I put the lotion on at night, I'll just, like, rub my whole face in cocoa butter just to help with lightening my face. And not that Palmer's cocoa butter in the jar. It's, um, it's the natural cocoa butter like the hundred percent cocoa butter it's called the yellow stick like it's straight up pure ghetto it's not even 
like that Palmer's crap is just synthetic made up all this other ingredients in it it's not real so get the pure cocoa butter that will help also and I have noticed that my scars have gotten lighter obviously because if you look from I wish I knew how to like edit videos I want to like show a picture of my first video to this video but it is the first one it's like called PCOS girls acne help and it has all these exclamation points so if you want to check that out you can Alright, well that's about it. Gotta go back to studying. See ya.